and welcome to another episode of Life is Spiritual Presents Real Life Testimonies. I'm your host, Tim Kimani, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Erica, and our guests. Yes. Uh, viewers, we want to take this opportunity to thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and also commenting because we always read through your comments. And today we have our sister Irene to answer some of the questions you guys were asking. Yes, and without wasting a lot of time, let us allow Irene to introduce herself. Yes, yes, Irene, yes. you're welcome. Karibu. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, you can that. speak. Kiswahili <laughs> translate. She will speak in Swahili, he'll he will translate or I will or whichever. Um <laughs> Yeah, she's very grateful she has uh, reached here today. Um Mini Tairini Ilipiana Storyangu. Yeah, she says my name is Irene. I gave my story last time I was here. Um uh, yeah, and today we'll continue to talk uh, a few more things. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, one of the questions uh, mm. these people were asking in the comment section is, uh, has Irene been on other platforms before sharing her experience? Yeah. I've been in some platforms but i can't mention it mm. yeah. yeah so uh in those platforms were you helped no after video mm. uh come and promise um oh what i could do any political hospital in it to be macho but kutoka could you find a video after them hosting me they told me that uh, they will come and take care of my medication, eye treatment, and also my hand, but mm -hmm. after the capturing of my story, they have never appeared. Oh. Even they have never checked on me if I'm still living or I'm dead. Oh, sorry. And mm. uh, so hurting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, hmm. the other question is, uh, some people say it's the hyena that attacked you. Well, uh, in your testimony, uh, you you said it was a leopard. So clarify on that. Uh, ilikuwa ni chui, but what we game ni jundo aliniokoa. Ah, uh, uko mila ni pele kostel kumakindo alisema ilikuwa fisi, lakini ni mimi kwangu ilikuwa fisi, kuwa chui. Uh, there are many people are saying ah, uh, they know that I was attacked by a hyena. But the Ahena story came from KWS. Uh, what attacked me was a leopard, not a hyena. Yeah. So okay. uh, we, we just brought Irene to clarify and answer some of your questions. And Irene here has a very powerful testimony, a spiritual experience. But right now, we want to concentrate on helping her. We have been able to gather her medical bill full medical bill and we want to take this opportunity to thank you whoever contributed for Irene's medication thank you so much the other request Irene had was to start a business anything that she can do so that she can survive and we'll keep bringing back Irene to follow up this matter until we see Irene smiling again so thank you so much for encouraging her thank you so much for supporting her and as we do always we first gave her some money before uh, be, the first time she recorded, and that one we did not record. But now we want you to see we are giving her her medical bill for accountability. We are not bragging. It's not us. It is you. You have sent money for her Irene's medication, and we are giving her her medication. Thank you so much. We are so, so grateful. And we will allow Irene to say something before we give her her money. <laughs> Atanashindo ni seme aje Asani sana Eska family Sababu Ni wengi wamekuja tuka shoot video na wao I don't know what to say Erika family Actually I'm very thankful Many people Have come to record my story But 
I've never found help from them, but the first time I came here, you really showed your appreciating heart. I really thank you for that. You helped me. Also, mm. she feels very emotional mm. for what you are doing for her. Sababu last time when we were here, she was very much angry. She was red. No one can know how to put this on her. So I need to go learn some Kalipa Pisa Dogoni. Kapawa da, ata jana ningeenda ni vile. Daktari aliniambia yuko daktari wangu Dr. Hapji Chukwu. Nashukuru sana. Even last time I was here my right eye had some problems. It was somehow red uh, but the money I received from you people at least I went for treatment. I can see well right now with my right eye. Wow. I really thank you people. Glory to God. Amen. So guys, let's do it. Let's give her a business. We have given her her medication. May God bless you. We are so, so grateful. Thank you on Irene's behalf. So Irene, this is your money for your medication. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Sana. God bless you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. So, um, I think that's it. Yes. I want to, add. I want to, I want to encourage, uh, you know, our viewers out there, um, I I just want to read a few scriptures. Um, this is what Christianity is really about. Um, you know, from the time of the book of Acts, when the Lord's disciples were now preaching the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, the Bible says in the fourth chapter of Acts that, in fact, let me just read it because um, I think the church needs to get back to the book of Acts. Um, I don't know what the church morphed into during the 2,000 years since the Lord um, has, has ascended to heaven, but it is important that we get back to what the original mandate of the church was. What was the original church? How did it look? How did the people operate? How was it structured? And so... Um, from the fourth chapter of the book of Acts, it says in the 32nd verse, verse 32, And the multitude, the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that aught of the things which he possessed was his own, but they had all things in common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles' feet. And now watch this. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. That was the church. That was the original church. So... Somehow, over the years, the church changed into something else. Everyone in the congregation was contributing to the lifestyle of one person. That is not the church. The church is everyone, if everyone is contributing, it is so that distribution can be made to all who have need. So if there is a pool of money, it's not going to one family. Or if there is a pool of money, it's not going to one man to buy a Rolls Royce, to buy a big mansion to buy a, a, a private jet. No, if there is a pool of money, as far as the body of Christ is concerned, distribution is to be made to the poor or to those who do not have. And then that warrants the blessing of the Lord. And for those of you who have given, that is, that is the church. That is the real body of Christ. Um, be careful of you know churches that do not have this mindset because if they don't have this mindset, then it is a business. Many of churches have become religious pyramid schemes. And, and if you're involved in a religious pyramid scheme, God is not obligated to bless that. He said in the book of Proverbs, it says, He that has a bountiful eye will be blessed, for he gives of his bread to the poor. So God is obligated to bless those who give to the poor. But nowhere in the Bible did he say give to the pastor, evangelist, uh, prophet, teacher, or apostle. And I'm a man of God. And we need donations to continue. But we do not preach that the only way that God can bless you is, that, is by donating to our ministry. No, that's not what the Bible says. 
The Bible says, he that gives to the poor shall not lack. That's Proverbs chapter 28, verse 27. He that gives to the poor shall not lack, but he that hides his eyes shall have many a curse. So there are many Christians who don't know. They're busy doing their tithe. They're busy doing their offering and sowing seeds. And if you want to do those things, you do them. But God is not obligated to bless that. God is obligated to bless what he commanded. He said, he that hides his eyes from the poor will have many a curse. So it's possible for a Christian to have financial curses because they refuse to do what is written. He said, give to the poor. And if you hide your eyes from those who are suffering, then what happens? Curses have the legal right to come upon you. So it's very important that we focus our finances on the less fortunate. And as we lift others, you'll see how God lifts you. Mm. Yeah, you'll see how God blesses you. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. I think... Yeah. We the can... only reason, by the way, the only reason why we've given, because Jesus gave a commandment on how to give to the less fortunate. Mm. You're not supposed to give in front of everybody to show everyone that you're good. Mm. However, there we are those of you who donate it. And camera. because that is your money also, mm. we are making sure that you're able to see that your money is going to the person who really needs it to help them. And we will continue to stand with her. Mm. And we'll our bring her like back. Her. We'll yeah. bring her back. Yes. Mm. Amen. 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 Yes. So God bless you. Be encouraged. I want to pray for you because right. yeah, negative things cannot just continue following you around everywhere. That's spiritual also. Mm. It's very spiritual. And I also want to encourage you, as you start your business, eh, remember those who are less fortunate than you. That's how you tap into the economy of the kingdom of God. You'll see God really blessing you. If you will also, just even if you start small, but remember those who are less fortunate than you, and you'll see God also releasing blessings for you. Amen? Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. So you can pray for her and yes. pray for the people that have also blessed. Yes. So we'll yeah. pray for you. So many people have been praying for you, by the way. We've been receiving yeah. messages Message. of saying, people are saying, hey, please tell Irene we care for her. May the Lord bless her. May the Lord yeah. encourage her. May yeah. the Lord inspire her. Tell her we love her. We are standing with her. We are encouraging her to be strong. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life that you have given us. I thank you for the commandment that Jesus gave, that we love one another. I thank you, Lord, for Irene and the, and the gentleman she has come with. I thank you for their lives, Heavenly Father. Lord, it seems as if misfortune has been following them every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And so right now, we just want to take authority as yes. the body of Christ because Jesus said, wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I'm there in the midst. And Jesus also said, if any two of you will agree as touching anything of my Father, it shall be done that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Therefore, we pray right now that the series of curses, the series of misfortune that has been following them around may be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for a hedge of protection round about them on every side. Every devil on assignment against their life, I arrest you. Every devil on assignment to fulfill curses, to fulfill witchcraft and sorcery, we break their power right now and we destroy it in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Father, we pray for a, a hedge of protection round about them on every side, that there shall no evil befall them, neither shall any plague come near their dwelling. We pray, Heavenly Father, that your angel may be set about them, for it is written, He shall put his angels, he shall set his angels charge over us mm -hmm. to bear us up in their hands lest we dash our foot against a stone. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Father, that the angel of the Lord encamps round about those that fear him and the Lord delivers them. So we pray, Father, for their preservation and for their blessings and for the restoration mm -hmm. of everything that the devil has stolen from them. For it is written, the thief, if he be found, must restore sevenfold. He must give all the goods of his house. So I pray, Father, for a restoration of everything they have lost and even a restoration of the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the locust, and the caterpillar have devoured. We pray, Heavenly Father, for a restoration of everything that they lost and their preservation. And we pray for that you would catapult them into their destiny 
to be people who are encouraging others because so many others are in a place of depression, in a place of discouragement, but we pray for them right now that even through Irene's story, they may be encouraged, that they may know that they are loved, that they are not sidelined, that they are not excluded, but they are welcomed and they are accepted among the beloved. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we pray that all those who gave, Father, we pray that you may bless them. Your word declares, he that gives to the uh, less fortunate shall not lack. Mm -hmm. You said in your word that he that has a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he gives of his bread to the less fortunate. So I pray, Father, that you will remember all those that gave and release a wonderful blessing that they may receive consistent passive income, surprise income, debt cancellation, all manner of blessings, that they, their blessings may be unlocked, that whatever the enemy had stolen, that it may be restored. We pray, Father, that the thief, because if he, if he be found, he must restore sevenfold. Mm -hmm. Let those who have given, let them have sevenfold everything that the devil ever, ever stole from them. And even those that did not afford to give, mm. but they prayed yes. and they felt for Irene. Yes. Heavenly Father, you know them. I pray that you bless them. I pray that you strengthen them. And because you give seed to the sower, I pray, Father, that you may bless them, that they may also have to give something to the less fortunate. Mm. We honor you, Father. We bless your name and glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, don't forget to follow me mm. on Erika Mukisa's testimonies and give on Life is Spiritual. Amen. Yes, we love you so much. God bless you. Bye, Mama Maisha. Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare The awesome third part of the Erika Testimonial Series. In this edition, Erika exposes witchcraft and reveals how it can be defeated and overcome in the name of Jesus. Everything you are going through now has an origin, and that origin can be dealt with, but you must know how. Find out in Erica Part 3, Witchcraft and Spiritual Warfare, and overcome every obstacle in Jesus' name. Yeah, praise God, viewers. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for uh, supporting our ministry, for liking, sharing, uh, subscribing, and, and commenting, we really always look forward to hearing from you. Uh, for those whose messages haven't been responded to, we just want to take this opportunity to apologize. It's, it's just overwhelmingly too much. We have so many messages. So what we have decided to do is to, come, because we find that most of these messages are repeated, like people ask the same questions so we shall be picking different topics and discussing those topics depending on the questions that are being asked also we'll get a day where we'll just go through all some of the messages not all of them and we'll be answering in a video so that uh, we help as many people as possible for those of you who want to buy our books our books are available on amazon kindle and our website www.lifeispiritual Dot org. You can also find them in Uganda Bookshop, a Joy Bookshop, and Aristoc Bookshops in Uganda. And uh, if you want to bless any guest that we invite on our platforms, you have our website information on the screen below. It is info at lifeispiritual.org. The PayPal account is info at lifeispiritual.org. You can also send donations through SendWeb and World Remit. Uh, on the numbers that are running on the screen. Avoid people who come into the comment section asking you for money, uh, for prayers or prophesying and, and requesting that you donate uh, to them. We have foundations in Uganda and in Kenya. The only platform on which you can find information about our foundation is uh, www.lifespiritual.org. We do not have any account on Facebook. We don't have any account on Twitter, Instagram, and all those other platforms. So avoid getting conned. Otherwise, we love you so, so much. May God richly bless you. Thank you. We wouldn't have grown without your support, without your prayers, without your love. And just feel free to always ask, comment, share, subscribe. Please send these videos to other people so that they can also learn. May God richly bless you. We love you so much. Mama Maisha. You reign forever.